now it's uh, during the uh, pandemic, and uh, everyone uh, concerned about what will happen after this uh, pandemic. Is the end of the globalization? What's the impact of the international collaboration? Maybe three or four years from now, we will look back on America having made some very, very unfortunate and sad decisions that right now are not going to change as quickly as I'd like because there's all sorts of other anti-Chinese sentiment that is occurring for reasons that have nothing to do with you or me. And we have to let the world calm down and then go to the key word, which is collaboration. Because if you take the two biggest countries in the world and you just imagine in your head, the best way to go forward is for those two big countries to collaborate. Bell Laboratories was the world leader in telecommunication. Now Bell Labs has gone away and Huawei has to assume that role. So how well are you doing in assuming that very big role of open research? All Huawei executives respect what Bell Labs did for the human being. Huawei would like to work with university and the research institutes, invest in the most outstanding new topics like the optical computing, uh, atomic scale manufacturing, DNA storage, and we wish together with the uh, science and the technology related parties to have more breakthrough for the future. I'm sure you'll do a very good job leading the world into open basic research, pre-competitive research. Thank you. Mr. Chairman, you have uh, said that 5G, when combined with emerging technologies like AI, artificial intelligence, is like electricity. Can you tell us what you mean by this? This is a very interesting uh, compared to what's happening right now compared to one uh, 50 years ago's electricity. You know, when Thomas Edison find the electricity using for lighting, almost like uh, 2G or 3G, we use telecommunication network to connect people. The electricity was widely used in home, in vertical industries that brand a brand new uh, centuries. I think right now we are on the way to bring technology like 5G to vertical industries, to bring to every organization's homes, to change the world. 5G have three major features. They have a low latency, wide uh, bandwidth, and broad connections. Suppose all those features can combine with the industry. Can you imagine what that change? Maybe that is the opportunity. It's like what happened one uh, 50 years ago. If I may ask a, a follow-up question, uh, which is, what are some of the ways in which you envision uh, 5G helping to restore our economies and our, our business opportunities? ICT is a business enabler. And uh, I think it play a very active role to help conquer the pandemic. Huawei and work with our partners, we work out at least nine scenarios use ICT technology to help the different period of the pandemic. I think right now is also very helpful after the pandemic. Take China, for example. The government just uh, issued a new wave of digital transformation and uh, tried to invest uh, more for health, education, etc. And I know uh, Europe just uh, issued uh, what's it new, called the new Marshall Plan that's also invest the digital transformation for green and uh, secure economics. So in that way, I think uh, 5G, fiber, could play kind of solutions for the recovery of the economy. Well, thank you. And Mr. Chairman, I, I apologize for losing connectivity, but I, I guess it underscores a challenge that we have when we talk about the digital divide. Uh, for so many of us, 
when we have the benefit of, of internet that's reliable and secure, we can accomplish so much. But as an American now living in Italy, I, I find unfortunately that, that I now have unreliable internet. And even though I have a backup, it, it disconnects me, which uh, if we're talking about telemedicine or, or business, it just underscores the need for collaboration in improving internet globally because so much depends upon it. So forgive me, uh, both of you, for, for that on this end. Yeah, that's okay. That means the company like Huawei still have a lot of room to improve, yeah. to help improve <laughs> the uh, connectivity of the world.